Hey guys, um, so it is April 13th out here. Uh, you can see that it's really windy. I actually need to get into the camper, the RV, because uh, we're getting ready to uh, get everything going. As you know, Kyle is getting the boat going. And uh, it's April 13th, you can kind of see we've got tons of snow here. Um, but there's work to be done on the, the RV. I gotta get it, uh, take out the plumbing antifreeze and get it all going. We'll show that in a previous, uh, next video. But I thought you guys might like to just sort of see the inside and what we're gonna be doing. So I'll uh, turn the camera around here and we'll see if we can get in. All right, look at those icicles. It's uh, pretty bad. It's still snowing out here see here that I gotta step over some some snow banks here um, I actually took the camper out of storage um, about three weeks ago when it was nice and sunny but uh, we'll see um, don't even have the battery hooked in yet so I'm gonna have to kind of jump up here hi everybody all right so I'm inside um, away from the cold so it's actually not too bad in here it is cold in here um, just to give you a little tour so and background, so this, uh, this motorhome um, is 20, 21 feet. You can barely call it a motorhome, um, but it's also not a travel van. It's kind of in between. I believe they call it a Class B or Class B Plus. So um, basically, Kyle and I need somewhere to stay. Um, it's not practical to be you know, pulling in and putting up a tent. Um, and plus, you have to pack your gear all that and all that. I bought this motorhome because I obviously, you know, have a boat and uh, my family and I take it fishing all the time and the, the motorhome is a little unusual in that even though it's only 21 feet, it's got a 10 cylinder engine and it's got a trailer hitch on the back and I can fully launch uh, my boat on most boat launches assuming that they can take the weight of the motorhome and hopefully the tournaments we're going to, we're going to be able to do that, we'll, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, saving tons of money. Um, we can, you know, pay for a campsite and, and then go from there. Um, so um, all the creatures of creature comforts of home here. So just kind of panning around. You can see behind me I've got like a microwave and a hood fan um, over here. Actually, I'll just flip the camera around. All right, so you see here we've got a three burner, three burner stove. As I said, we've got, you know, all of the... Uh, I guess status lights on our hood fan. We've got a, a full microwave, um, coffee maker, even have an oven should we want to. It's all propane, natural gas. Um, we have a bathroom. So it's sort of a porta potty that has a holding tank like most trailers or RVs. Um, but what's really nice, if we need to, it doesn't have a, a big water tank, but if we need to, there is a shower here to go off road. Um, show you the view from um, down here so that's uh, the full length of the motorhome so this is a smaller motorhome in that what you're seeing missing is the bedroom there's no beds so the only thing that folds down is this couch folds into kind of a one and a half bed and this um, dinette folds into a twin um, again we got a full fridge and freezer so that all has to be cleaned up um, Pantry, you know, we've got uh, the electrical system down there. We have a full uh, furnace here, propane furnace. So, you know, we're going to be doing this in the fall and uh, even in, in early May, it gets pretty chilly. And what's really nice is you can see here, this is actually my solar control. So I put solar panels on the roof so this uh, motorhome can literally uh, go off off grid um, Three solar panels was enough for me to be able to charge the batteries in full after only a couple of hours Okay, so moving down on our tour Obviously being a motorhome. We've got a, a full driving setup here. Um, you can see in the corner uh, Over there. I've got a backup camera Obviously, I'm protecting the uh, dash here from the Sun um, another um, another seat um, just spin around here and show the view from the other side. So not a lot of room, um, but definitely enough for two people. We have four people. I've got uh, two boys and my wife and I, and uh, it's tight, but 
you do what you have to and, and we love it. We love traveling. And we also, if we're able to uh, have uh, a plug-in, we have air conditioning. So yeah, we've got everything we need. And I've got a bracket up here um, that uh, it has a, a flip down bracket for a TV. I store that inside. Um, and then of course, it's a small motorhome, but it does have a generator. Um, although I do have to get that going. Um, we're gonna need that, especially if Kyle and I have to stay in a parking lot and we don't have a campsite. Um, the generator's not running right now, so I have to try to get that going. Um, I tried a little bit last year to uh, change the spark plug and the, and the fuel filter and it's still not going, so I'm not sure. It was running a little rough. I might have to uh, take it in. So one of the things I'll, I'll say, you know, we have to get this ready. You can see there's like these leaves all over the place. Um, no, we didn't have a tree that, <laughs> that lost its leaves in here. These are actually bay leaves, okay? We've got bay leaves everywhere. I heard a long time ago and uh, trust me, it does work. Um, somebody told me that to avoid mice, if you sprinkle bay leaves everywhere and bounce dryer sheets, um, you can actually avoid mice from coming into your RV, your cottage. Uh, we used to do this, you know, you can put your, um, I don't know, bedding in a bag, uh, put some bay leaves and some bounce sheets, and literally all you have to do is just uh, pick these up and vacuum them up, and we're good to go. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this tour. Um, yeah, kind of an interesting setup. I think we're gonna turn a lot of heads when we're trying to launch the boat in the middle of a 100 plus boat tournament with the motorhome, but uh, that's it is what it is. It'll make for a interesting, um, interesting video for sure. So um, Kyle and I are gonna be spending a lot of time in here uh, together and we'll see whether we uh, can make it through the summer without, uh, you know, hating each other. Um, but that's gonna be part of the challenge and you guys will see some footage about that. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next video. Don't forget, don't look at the TV. Look in the lens. Oh, right, right. One, two, three. Hey everybody, I'm Kyle. And I'm Garrett. And we're... <laughs> Who are we? We're Joe's to Pros. We are Joe's to Pros. Okay.